It's the Kitchen Hormone Series, and this is part one. What is normal? So of course you have two ovaries, and they're full of developing follicles. Each follicle contains one ovum or egg. Now, it's the group of cells around each of these eggs that make your sex hormones. If you could look inside during your early part of your cycle, you would see that the follicular cells are making estrogen, as demonstrated in red. This estrogen that goes to your uterus, it tells your uterus to thicken and to get ready for a fertilized egg. Now, at about day 12 of your cycle, your estrogen surges and it causes one of these follicles to burst open, it releases this golden egg, which is traveling down from your ovaries all the way to your uterus. The egg leaves behind the shell, which is now called the corpus luteum. So it starts cranking out tons of progesterone, which you can see in blue here. The progesterone makes its way to your uterus to prepare your uterus for a fertilized egg to implant. Now, at about 10 days, if your egg hasn't been fertilized, your corpus luteum gets so upset that it self-destructs. This crash in progesterone levels sends a signal to your uterus to get rid of this whole nest. We're done with it. And thus, menstruation is triggered on day 14. Was this helpful? Save this video and follow along for future Kitchen Hormones, where we'll discuss perimenopause and menopause.